In today's video, we will explore historical images of women who challenged the norms of their times. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give the video a thumbs up. In Cape Town, in the year 1965, two young women challenged the conventions of the time by wearing miniskirts. Their attire notably contrasted with the traditionally longer garments that predominated in society at that moment. As they walked through the streets, they became the center of attention, drawing curious and perhaps even disapproving looks from people. In the year 1967, a historic event marked the Boston Marathon, the entry of a woman into the competition for the first time. At that time, women still did not have official permission to participate in the marathon. The iconic photograph captured the moment when one of the organizers was attempting to forcibly remove her from the race. In the year 1965, during the races held in Melbourne, an unusual and daring event caught the attention of those in attendance. Renowned English supermodel Jean Shrimpton made an appearance at the event wearing an outfit that, for the time, was considered daring, a mini dress. Maud Wagner, recognized as the first documented female tattoo artist, left an indelible mark on history by not only tattooing the bodies of others, but also by tattooing her own body. She did this in an era when the art of tattooing was still seen as something extraordinary and marginalized. Maud boldly chose to adorn her body with a variety of tattoos. In 1953, in West Berlin, a peculiar incident captured the interest of all those present. A group of female students who were riding their bicycles home from school were confronted with an unusual situation. The educational institution they attended had implemented a strict prohibition against the wearing of tight pants, checkered trousers, and shorts. At the beginning of the 20th century, specifically in 1906, a significant milestone in Britain marked the start of a fundamental social movement the women's suffrage movement. This movement was composed of a collective of women who united in an unwavering struggle for the right to vote and the achievement of equality in terms of civil and political rights compared to men. In 1966, the renowned French fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent made a significant impact on the fashion industry by introducing a collection that challenged conventions by offering women the opportunity to wear the garment most associated with men's fashion, the tuxedo. As a result of this bold innovation, the models who walked the runway in suits were often subjected to discrimination. In 1907, Annette Kellerman, a professional swimmer, Australian actress, and writer, stirred considerable controversy by posing for a photo session wearing a one-piece swimsuit. This act was deemed indecent by local authorities, leading to her arrest and charges of improper behavior. In the 1920s in the United States, a special league composed of fervent advocates for morality was dedicated to combating the use of swimsuits considered indecent. In this photo, we can see actress Lila Lee wearing a traditional swimsuit that complied with the dress standards of the time and was not a target of criticism from the Moralistic League. In 1922, in the city of Chicago, a woman was arrested for wearing a swimsuit that exposed her legs. Wearing this piece of clothing was considered a violation of the moral norms and standards of behavior of that time. Elizabeth Eckford stood out as one of the African-American students who played a leadership role in the racial integration movement in the United States schools. In a historic event in 1957, she became one of the pioneers to enter the classrooms of a school that had previously been exclusively for white students, marking a significant advancement in the fight against racial segregation. Billie Jean King is a former professional tennis player who distinguished herself through her impressive track record of victories at the Wimbledon tournament. In addition to her excellence on the tennis courts, she is remembered for her significant activism in promoting gender equality in the world of tennis. Maria Teresa de Filippis is a renowned Italian racing driver who etched her name in history by achieving the distinction of being the first woman to compete in the pinnacle of world motorsport, Formula One. Senda Berenson was an influential American athlete pioneer, widely recognized as the founder of women's basketball. She played a crucial role in adapting the rules of men's basketball, which had been created in 1891, to accommodate the physical differences and skills of women. Hedy Lamarr is recognized as an American actress and inventor who challenged stereotypes related to female beauty and scientific capabilities. In addition to her film career, she developed a revolutionary innovation that played a significant role in the advancement of modern cellular communication. In California, in the year 1947, a group of women affiliated with the Organization of Women Against Styles organized a demonstration in front of a clothing store. They were protesting against the growing trend of longer skirts and padded hips in women's fashion, thereby expressing their opposition to these style trends. In 1956, 
in the state of Alabama, Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on a bus to a white passenger and choosing to remain seated. Her arrest sparked a historic civil rights movement in the United States. Mary Quant is a distinguished British designer, recognized for her influence in the fashion industry by initiating a revolution in the way women dress. She introduced the iconic miniskirt, a short garment that became an emblematic symbol of 1960s fashion. Paul Poiret was a celebrated French fashion designer who left an indelible mark on women's fashion in the early 20th century. His innovative and creative approach is widely recognized as he played a crucial role in liberating women from corsets and spearheading revolutionary transformations that influenced the fashion of the era. Shirley Slade was one of approximately a thousand female pilots chosen to be part of the group known as the Women Air Force Service Pilots, WASP, during World War II. The iconic photograph, taken when she was just 22 years old, portrays Shirley with a determined look, wearing a pilot's helmet, goggles, and gloves, ready to take off in her airplane. Susan Kerr is an iconic figure whose contributions to the computer industry have yet to receive the recognition they deserve. In the 1980s, she gained prominence as a renowned artist responsible for designing various fonts, logos, icons, and images for renowned companies, including Apple, Next, Microsoft, and IBM. The image portrays a scene from the 1980s with girls wearing school uniforms and typical hairstyles of that time. The subway seats also appear noticeably different compared to what we find today. It's fascinating to observe how culture and style have evolved over the years in the city that never sleeps. The image was captured on a beach in Iran, a few months before the Islamic Revolution of 1979. In the photo, you can see women enjoying the sun and water, wearing swimsuits that, by today's standards, would be considered inappropriate or even prohibited due to the restrictions imposed by Islamic religion. It offers a powerful insight into the cultural and social changes that have occurred in the country over time. The image depicts a young female welder in an armaments factory during World War II. During that period, women were encouraged to enter the workforce to support the war effort and fill the gaps left by men who went to serve on the battlefield. She represents the remarkable contribution of women during this crucial period in history. The image portrays an ordinary woman celebrating her birthday in 1973 in Iran, wearing typical clothing of that era. However, after the Islamic Revolution of 1979, many of these garments were considered indecent and prohibited by the new Islamic government. This illustrates the drastic changes in norms and dress enforced by the regime following the revolution. The photo depicts Helen, a telephone switchboard operator, who was also a Native American, working in Montana in the year 1925. During this era, telephone operators played the crucial role of manually connecting calls, an essential job in the communication network of the time. This image depicts an advertisement in New York, most likely from the 1940s, promoting the idea that people should skate to work as a way to save gasoline during the wartime period. And with that, we've reached the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest news, leave a like, and share the video.